The news out of China that they won't be buying any more North Korean coal for the rest of the year is certainly a blow to this country's government because selling coal to China is one of the main ways that North Korea generates hard cash, currency, currency that pays for things like their nuclear program and their missile program. But here on the streets of Pyongyang, there may be a silver lining to this announcement because over the past year, since coal exports have been restricted, people have more electricity in the morning when they're getting ready for work, in the evening when they're cooking dinner or with their families. If you look at the Pyongyang skyline now versus a year or two ago, you see a lot more lights on uh, than you did before. And so the fact that there's more coal being kept inside the country may actually be a good thing in regards to the people's living standards here. I spoke with North Korean economist Ri Gi Song, who says China accounts for 70% of North Korean trade, but he says the suspension of coal exports will not have a dramatic effect on life here in North Korea. The sanctions are not slowing down our nuclear and missile development. We're going faster. We're increasing our national defense with nuclear at the core. Ri and other North Korean economists say this country has lived under heavy sanctions for decades, and yet slow economic growth has continued. You look at people on the streets of Pyongyang, they have new clothing, they're carrying smartphones, their living standards are improving. The question moving forward, is this growth sustainable as the economic noose continues to tighten? But officials here in North Korea say nothing will stop them from developing their missile and their nuclear programs. Will Ripley, CNN. Pyongyang, North Korea.